Do you remember those, like, puzzles from Pokemon where you'd push the boulders around to get through to the next area? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make something like that in your RPG Maker game. And we're starting right now. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So, first thing we're going to do is design a puzzle. We're going to do a 4x4 grid. I'm going to open up Photoshop. And we're just going to outline this 4x4 grid where our puzzle is going to take place. Now the goal is that the character enters from one side and exits on the other. So, there need to be things to block the player from doing that. And you know what, you guys can make your own puzzles. I'm just going to speed through this one and get the logic down. Basically what I'm doing right now is designing a puzzle in a way that the players can only move the boulders in a certain way for them to solve the puzzle. That way there's no extraneous variables where they can make game-breaking bugs that completely freeze the game. Okay, so I've got the basic idea for a puzzle down. I'm going to refine that, but first let's just head back over into the game engine and set this all out. Now, firstly, we need to design the event. So what I'm going to do is double click and select a boulder image. I'm going to make sure the trigger is action button. And what we're going to do is have a conditional branch if character is facing up. If character is facing up, then what we're going to do is simply set movement route this event, move up, wait for completion, skip if cannot move. Now this skip if cannot move is very important. Then we're going to copy and paste this. And instead of player facing up, we're going to say is player facing down. And if player is facing down, then instead of move up, we're going to have move down. Still wait for completion and skip if cannot move. And we're just going to do the same for the rest of the directions. And after that, we're just going to jump into game to see if this all works. There we go, so I'm walking into it, nothing's happening. When I touch it, it rolls forward. If I come this side, yep. There we go, so we've got our boulder event working. Now what we're going to do is remember what our puzzle was and essentially try and replicate that. So, I've got in this 8x8 grid, I've got 1, 2, 3. So let's replicate that over here. One, gonna copy and paste, two, three. Then I've also got this fake boulder over here. So I'll just add another one here. Now another thing I've got is some rocks on the outside and inside blocking the player from moving things left or right or in the directions they shouldn't. So I'm gonna go back over to my mapping tiles and do that now. Now, let's jump in and see if we can't solve this puzzle. Whenever you're designing puzzles, make sure you always bug test them. So let's see. I can't do anything here. So I will push up. Hmm. Push across. There we go. Alright, so I'll push up. Now, the first bug in my puzzle is I can just keep pushing up and get out of it. So what we're going to do is add one last file boulder here. Now the puzzle should work. There we go, let's try that again. I push this one up, I push this one up, I push this one over, push that one up, that one up. Now you know what would be really cool is if I placed a treasure chest right here. The other thing we have to do is block the player from being able to push this one up again because what we want is the player to go this way and then get out. So what we're going to do is simply extend this wall out. And just quickly we're going to right click, quick event, add a treasure chest, treasure chest, and fill it with 10 gold. And here we have our very own boulder puzzle. The player comes across this, oh what do I do? Move that up, well now what? Oh, if I move that up, ba 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 ba. There's a treasure chest, and there we go, home free. If you want to do anything extra, what you can do is, when you're moving the boulder, you can also add like a rolling sound effect if you've got one on hand, like a 
for the uh, boulder to move. But that is the first episode of, I guess, a series I'll call RPG Maker Puzzles. And this is how you make a boulder puzzle in your RPG Maker game. If you've liked this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to drink a glass of water.